Hi guys, welcome to this session. Hi Adarsh, hi Karav, hi Shivam. How have you been guys? Hi Adarsh. I'm good, thanks. How are you, Adarsh? Uh, guys, let's just wait for another couple of minutes for other students to join. Um, Gaurav, did you find the recording in the link? No, you didn't find it. Okay, I'll share the link with you in that case. Okay. Okay, okay. Hi Radhika, welcome to the session. Okay guys, let's just start with the class for today. I hope everyone can see my screen. So guys, in our, in our last class, we did social media marketing. We talked about Facebook, where I've told you about business page that you can create and which will help you to promote your business, your brand, product or services that you are offering to your target audience, right? So basically, Facebook, you can use for B2C audience, which is business to consumers, guys, like example that we have taken of travel company. Okay, and I have walked you through the PPT, the things that uh, are good to do on business page, which will help you to promote your business page further. And that will also stay on the top of the mind of your target audience. Okay, so all those points you can follow guys. I, I will share that PPT with you all guys. Okay, which will help you to follow do's and don'ts of Facebook business page. Correct. Right, guys. Any doubt in regards to previous class, guys? Other Shradika, Shivam, Gaurav, you as you haven't attended. So, okay. Other says no. What about others, Radhika and Shivam? No. Okay, great. So, guys, today we are going to start with the Facebook ad creation how you can promote your products or services through paid advertisement on facebook platform guys have you guys ever tried it any one of you others Gaurav, radhika shivam are you guys aware of how you can create ad how you guys created it any one of you others Gaurav, radhika bhama shivam pradeep Pradeep, who is Pradeep here? 
uh, hi uh, hi pradeep uh, meno who are you like how come you are here for the session today gaurav says yes okay is there a live camping gaurav that you are working on okay yes great great good evening pradeep uh okay so let's just start oh, let me just see uh -oh. why it's not coming Sorry, guys. There was some network related issues. So yeah, I'm back. I'm here to tell you how you can create your advertisement on Facebook. Hi guys, I'm sorry. Internet is bit acting up. Can you guys hear me now? Okay, great. So yes, guys, I am here on the Facebook page, Pradeep. Uh, Pradeep, uh, are you attending this class for the first time? And guys, uh, please brief me about yourself. But, so guys, here you can see this is the Facebook page. And yesterday, not yesterday, day before yesterday, as I told you about the ads that you can create, guys. This is one kind of ad that you can create. The word sponsored written here, guys. Can you see sponsored? That means this is a paid ad, right? As it is coming on news feed feed like home page and this is news feeds between news feed this that is the reason it's called news feed ad guys news feed ad and then guys the advertisement that you get to see on the right hand side here that is again sponsored written right so this is 
uh, RHS ad, which is right hand side ad. These ads are called right hand side ads, guys. Clear? So, guys, to create ad here on Facebook page. So, guys, here we uh, don't use Google AdWords. We directly create ads on Facebook first thing. And there is no link with Google here because Facebook it's, has its own product and its own ad engine. Okay. So, we what amount that we're going to pay, we're going to pay to Facebook only. So guys, when you click on create ad option, go to drop down, click on create ad, then you will land here guys on this page, right? This is the page where you land up guys. Now to create campaign on Facebook, you should first know your objective. So guys, this is as simple as like the thing that we have done in display marketing or display ad there also. It was important to know about your objective, why you are running this ad, what you want to achieve from this campaign, right? And what action you want your audience to take after coming on your landing page. So guys, the one option that you have is the awareness. If you want to create awareness like brand awareness, that means you have recently launched a new product, a new brand in the market, and you want people to know about your brand first. Okay, so that in that case, you will first go with awareness and that is brand awareness. Second thing is, guys, if you want to increase the reach, if you want to increase the reach, let's say you want to reach to the maximum people on this platform, then you can select reach. Then, guys, traffic, if you want to generate more traffic on your website, engagement, like engagements where people will... Uh, ask you some queries or something like some interaction basically if you want people to install your app you can choose this option if you want people to view your videos you can select this option and if you want to generate leads so guys as i've already briefed you about leads i hope you guys must be aware of what lead is right are you guys all aware about lead generation you guys can have a form on on your landing page where people will come and fill that form and you will get your contact details right and once you get the contact details that is lead generation that depends on you where you want the traffic the landing page that you are going to enter radhika okay but it is always a website page because we want traffic on our website. Mostly, okay. Then we have conversions, guys. The action that we want people to come and take. The sale. If you, if you want people to download the product catalog, you can select this or store visits. Like you want people to come and visit your actual store. Right, so this is the first marketing objective that you can select, guys. Okay, so let's go with the traffic first. So let's say we want to generate more traffic. Okay, and I can change the name here of my campaign. Right, so guys, now I'm going to click on set up ad account. So here I am because if you are creating here, this you have to tell the country of your account, India. Currency I can change to INR for this campaign. Indian rupee and timings Asia Kolkata. So you can see the time zone has been changed, right? So now let's just move forward to continue.
so guys there you can select where you want drive traffic you enter a destination like a url later okay so we want to drive traffic on website clear hi ritesh welcome to the session so if you want to run any offer if you want to offer something to people you can select this option and say on okay and here from here you can create an offer guys that means if you are offering some discount because if people says yes see yes some offer is there then definitely they will come and click on your link so here guys you can set the offer can you see here this on your right hand side you guys can see 20% off your next purchase right so this is how you can create let's say buy one get one free buy one get one free like this and you can tell the end date or start date and the end date of this start date will actually will start when you start the campaign end date here you will enter till when you want to run this campaign okay so let's say one week only where people can redeem whether online or in store where you are giving this option to your uh, audience whether you want them to shop online or you want them to visit in store or you want both okay so i want to give this online only and here i'm going to give the url of my offer so let's say i'll just give gamecartchana.com okay and if i want to generate a code i can say one code okay and then i can give the online promo codes and unique codes if you want to set so let's say i don't want to give any code people can come for, for till this period they can avail this offer and how many total offers are available i'll say only 20 offers are available after 20 code uh, you must be getting guys uh, when let's say when you book a movie ticket you get a show uh, you get a code let's say bms 200 if you enter that code you will avail that discount of a code exactly okay yes if you want people stop people to sharing this offer no i want people to share this offer as much as possible so that i can generate more leads right and here if any terms and conditions apply to avail this offer i can mention it here make sense so guys here you can see and like this you can then clear guys so right now i'm just canceling this option then guys you have to create your audience to whom you want to target this campaign right to whom you want to reach so guys here either you can create a custom audience right and to create a custom audience you can click here create a custom audience right so guys here you can use a file so here if you click you can add customers from your own file or copy and paste the data like the contacts that you have on your facebook list right or you can import the data from mailchimp so guys that we are going to cover mailchimp email marketing so guys you can create your contact list within mailchimp to whom you send you can send bulk emails okay so same list guys you can use here to showcase your ad to those people okay
make sense not getting anything reason no okay not a problem guys i'll just come here so guys facebook advertisement so guys when you create an ad first thing that you mention the objective of your campaign right what's the end objective of your campaign so which i have already told you and it's almost similar to display marketing campaign okay so after that once you decide upon the objective you'll move, move forward you'll create an account account details you can mention the account details like the audience you want to target and the INR in which you are going to pay, like the amount in which you are going to pay currency basically, right? And after that guys, you are, you can create an offer if you want. If you are offering some discount to people or if you are saying buy one, get one free or any new discount, visit our store and get this gift free of cost. We are off providing some give some event is going on so in that case you can simply go and create an offer guys in any doubt till here guys is it clear till this point okay so guys after that you will get an option here guys audience audience if you guys remember in display marketing we used to get option to target right targeting target marketing if you guys remember so now guys here we are going to select our audience to whom we want our ad to showcase right so we want audience to be selected and the audience which we are going to select on Facebook, our ad campaign can only be showcased to those audience, right? So guys, there are some options which are available here. One, if you don't want to create a custom audience, you can simply go, you can select location in which location you want to showcase this advertisement. So everyone in this location, so if I select India and everyone in this location, so it will be open for all in India people who live in this location like people who live in this location right whereas if i'm going to select everyone in this location that means people who are traveling also to this location they will also be able to see this advertisement so even uh, people recently in this location or people traveling in this location i don't want to showcase my ad even to people recently in this location and people traveling in this location reason being guys Let's say I'm taking an example of digital marketing training course and I am right now situated in and that course that I'm uh, cre um, creating a campaign for is going to be face to face, right? So definitely I'm going to target people who lives here, who live in this location and not people who are recently in this location or traveling in this location because they are not going to stay for long here and they are not going to join me. So I don't want to waste my money for those people who are traveling or recently in this location, right? I just simply want to target those people who live in this location, right? Similarly, guys, if uh, I take an example of restaurant, right? Restaurant people would definitely want people who are traveling in this location, recently in this location or live in this location, right? Because they, they can obviously serve to all these people and they want to promote to people who are traveling also, right? So in that case, they might select everyone in this location. But as for my line of business, I will only select people who live in this location. And here I can change the location, guys. Right? So I can select New Delhi. And guys, let's say if I want to target some place in New Delhi, I can simply drop the pin, guys. Can you see all these uh, areas within Delhi? 
Lodi Road, Khan Market. These are specific places within Delhi, guys. So I can, let's say, my uh, this thing in Rajori Garden. I have one institute in Rajori Garden, and I simply go towards her. Mm. Uh -oh. So let's say if I type her Rajori Garden. Can you see guys Rajori Garden which is in Delhi? And here I want to target Motilal Nehru College, which is here in nearby location. And I can simply drop the pin here. Can you see guys now this location is being added. Making sense now guys, I'll cover that part later. Just try to understand here how you can select location uh, I really don't know about Radhika in phone how you can record but uh, my session is getting recording with recorded which I can share with you definitely later and these recordings will be shared with you okay don't worry about that So guys, is this clear how you can include the location part and you can also in exclude some location if you want, don't want to be included in your target. Yes, yes, definitely Adarsh. So guys, one way you can target your audience through location. Sure Adarsh. And then guys, you can select age. So guys, as I'm providing training on digital marketing, so probably people from 18 till probably 45, I would say, will come and learn. So I can select this age. And then guys, I can select the gender for men or women. I am not biased. I'll go with both men and women. And my product can be used by both. Languages, I'm okay with English only. English all okay and guys here again detailed targeting you can go do guys on the basis of demographics interest or behavior so guys if I'm going to select interest so now guys here again if you guys remember about affinity audience we have discussed on during create uh, while we were creating ad for display marketing Guys, do you remember affinity audience or in market audience? Others says yes. How about others? Anyways, not no one is replying. So guys, here you can select the interest of your audience. Again, guys, this interest is being captured is being captured by Facebook uh, based on the people who are visiting uh, the type of pages they are visiting, right? The kind of pages they are visiting within the, within the Facebook, right? So here you can see interest based on family and relations. I can say entertainment, food and drink. You can see behavior, anniversary consumer classification. Like you can use classification anniversary in 61 to 90 days so people if you are targeting let's say if you are a company of phones and petals such as flower company and you want people uh, of and let's say FMP phones and petals are running an ad campaign on Facebook right 
so what they can do is they can select people whose anniversary is just right round the corner like within 61 to 90 days they can select here and can showcase their ad to these people whose anniversary is round the corner guys is it making sense you can see that till what level you can add your campaign Guys, are you with me? And you can see the purchase behavior, guys. People who are guys. So guys, people who love shopping and they keep themselves engaged in shopping. So here you can select engage shoppers and I want people who just keep shopping, right? And people who love traveling, all frequent travelers, commuters, frequent international travel, return from trip one week ago, return from trip two week ago. So guys, you can see that till the, the level of nitty gritty you can go up to guys. Can you see that? Seasonal and events guys, if there is any event which is fall football, it's showing this and here you can select the fan of one or more teams, fan of one or three more teams. Mobile device users, so you can definitely uh, show to people by operating systems, operating system of mobile network connection guys. So if you guys remember, you can select the devices also if you remember when we have created Google Ads campaign, right? Multicultural and affinity guys. So people in different countries here you can target So guys, this is detailed targeting, right? And again, you can narrow your audience. You can specify based on demographics first. Upcoming birthday, let's say I want to send to upcoming birthday, you can select here. Shoppers, gift shoppers in a relationship, engaged people, single people, newly engaged, married, friends of newly engaged, So guys, here you can see the target level of targeting that you can do on Facebook. Make sense, guys? Is it now getting clear, guys? Adarsh, Gaurav, Radhika, Shritesh, Shivam, Vinu, Pradeep. Exactly. The, the you know... Uh, the terminologies are approximate, all are same, right? But here you can see the level of targeting, others. Here you can see the level of targeting you can do, which you don't get an option in display marketing, like anniversary within 30 days, anniversary in 31 to 60 days. Exactly, it's very deep here. You can also target people like, you know, it is a very well managed for people who are into uh, gifts and uh, you know like flower companies it's really good for them anniversary upcoming birthdays and also for e-commerce portal websites where uh, the shoppers and they can target people right and let's say uh, even the wedding uh, if you are in a relationship or let's say if you are just engaged then definitely you get to see a lot of wedding related stuff dresses related uh, bridal related stuff or groom related stuff okay based on your status so guys here you can see people who love traveling so travel companies can target them 
Yes. You can exclude or include both depending upon your requirements. And then guys, here you can see like people who like your page, if you want be only to target people who like my page, friends of people who like your page, exclude people who like your page, right? So I can say friends of people who like your page, apps, events, people who responded to your event, exclude people who already responded to your event. Right. So if you are run, uh, running a campaign again to promote your event, in that case, guys, you can simply exclude people who already responded because we don't want again to buzz the, those people who have actually responded to my event. Make sense? So guys, this is one way of setting your target audience, right? And now guys, here you can have a custom audience create a custom audience if you click on this link guys if you select this customer file guys customer file that means you can select people from your facebook add customers from your own file or copy and paste the data so guys i can have my own file i can have my own excel sheet basically right and i where I can just mention the Facebook URL of those page, of my friends or anyone, right? And then I can upload that file here, guys. Okay. And if I don't have any Excel document, if I have all my contact links within uh, MailChimp, then I can directly import from MailChimp. Clear, guys? Ritesh, Radhika, is it clear now, guys? Any doubt? Facebook guys, you can import data or your import audience here. I'll just show you how you can do it. Is it? So guys, here you just click here on add customer. Yes, yes, can you see here? So guys, this option they have suggested, these are the things that you can include in your Excel file. Email, phone number, mobile, advertiser ID, first name, last name, zip code like this city state country date of birth year of birth gender age facebook app user id and facebook page user id guys so guys if you know all these details of your contact list right then you can prepare the uh, this file and upload here can you see my screen now guys Make sense guys? So how you can create a sheet email, email address like this example is being given, phone number example is being given, mobile advertiser ID you can use like which mobile they are using, Android or Apple. First name, last name, zip postal code, city, state, country, date of birth, year of birth, gender, age facebook apple user id app user id and facebook page user id guys 
this is how these all columns you can in, you have to include in your excel sheet and then upload a file okay upload a file here and give the audience name what name you want to give here and then say upload or say next clear guys ritesh is it clear now Uh, guys, is it clear now? Shall we move forward? Not able to, guys. I hope you guys can hear me. My screen. Yeah, I don't know. Mostly people went offline together only. Radhika went, Gaurav went. Who else was there? Pradeep is still there. We know when. Okay, guys. Anyways, we are just moving ahead. Oh, is it? Right now. Okay, so Ritesh, please get it checked at your end. Right now, I'm here back. Are you clear about how you can add the audience through Excel or through like how you can import also similar way you can click and import data from Mailchimp where you need to give the credentials for your Mailchimp and import the file which uh, file you're going to select. Okay, guys, moving ahead. This is how, guys, you can select your audience, right? And once you set, once the audience is selected, guys, then click on save this audience, right? You can save this audience and you can use later on. You can see the location I've selected, age, link, English, and people. The this is just the example I selected. And I'll save it. And later also, I, guys, I can use the same audience. Make sense? So, guys, then uh, where we I want my ad to be placed, your ad will automatically be shown to your audience in the places they are likely to perform best. For this, objective placements may include Facebook, Instagram, or audience network, guys. So, guys, Instagram ads will also be created from here only. So, ads, if you want to show on Facebook and Instagram both, then you can select, right? So, here, as you can see, the recommended one, this option where Google, like the Facebook, will decide on its own where they want to showcase, like based on the audience I've selected and based on their, you know, behavior, Facebook will decide where they can show this ad, right? So whether on Facebook, Instagram, or any other audience network. Make sense? And if you edit placements, like where you want to showcase here, guys, you can just select on Facebook, Instagram. You can select also. where you want to showcase within feed or stories, right? And here you can see feed, instant articles, in-stream videos, write columns, suggested videos. Videos are not eligible because I'm creating an, an image ad, right? So guys, here you can see the ad will be showcased in feeds, instant articles, guys. Again, you can see ads on the instant articles here. And right column, which is right hand side ad, guys. Right, and Instagram, guys, you get to see feeds and stories. So I want to showcase on feed. Make 
make sense guys and then again i can select specific mobile devices or operating system people who are using these devices i just want to showcase this and here like android or apple operating systems and devices like again the model number categories like database social issues gambling mature website So here, this is for excluding purpose, guys. Right? Clear, guys? Is this clear? Placement is clear. Who all are there right now? Others, Ritesh, Shivam, or Ritesh has also left. I don't know why people are leaving the session today. Is it getting boring, guys? Shivam, Adarsh, Pradeep. Only you guys are left. Okay, I thought uh, Facebook must be interesting and people will definitely attend this session. Okay, anyways, not a problem. So guys, uh, here you can select the placement where you want to actually place your ad. Okay, then you guys, exactly, it's a bit easy as compared to AdWords and it's all self-explanatory also, Adush. Yeah, Shivam says, yeah, little boring, bit boring. Okay. Yeah. So guys, then you can select the budget and schedule how you want to budget your campaign. You can select the daily budget or lifetime budget. People usually select the daily budget only. So then you here you can give. This is the amount which is suggested by Facebook. 60 rupees daily budget. I can increase my daily budget to let's say 500. Yeah, to create ad campaigns, there are many steps that are involved, even in our, uh, Google AdWords. Show. So, guys, here you can schedule your ad, like you can say, set you can set a start date and end date and run my ad continuously starting today onwards okay or i can just simply set a date right so i can set like from 20th june i want to start till 30th june okay and here you can see my budget has auto updated for complete budget, which is 5,000, and you will not spend no more than 5,000, as it says. Then I will say complete. So guys, now I will connect my Facebook page here, okay? Uh, on which page I want people to come. This is, let's say, for example, my Facebook page. Let's say digital marketing. What shall I can select? So you can see this Facebook page will represent your business in Instagram ads, or you can add an Instagram account also. So guys, this page will be used in my Instagram ads, as you can see. And if, if I want to add a new account for Instagram, I can simply click here and create a new Instagram account from here itself. Right. And then, guys, I can select the format in which I want to showcase my ad. So guys, here you can see one is the carousel, single image and single video, guys. So this is the one which is coming. I can change, create an ad with two or more scrollable images or videos. Like if you want to have multiple images in one ad copy, then you can select this for single image, like create up to six ads with one image, each at no extra cost. Like there is no charge for adding more images. So guys, I can select this. This is always recommended because you can see uh, one image and then text, even that makes sense, right? Or if I'm creating a video ad, I can go for this. Okay.
so guys here you can also add a full screen canvas guys if you remember if you open facebook at times on your mobile app there you get to see full screen ad have you guys experienced that ad full screen ad and where which we call in display interstitial ad guys i do you guys remember now interstitial guys guys do you really remember in interstitial not getting any response this is no okay shivam no i know shivam might not be knowing it because you haven't attended that particular class so ritesh in this special uh, ad was that which opens on a complete mobile screen so i have given i had also given you an example of book my show guys so when you open book my show there you get to see full screen ad right similarly here you can if you select uh, add a full screen canvas that means full screen ad will open on facebook yes 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 that's the same so if i have already a canvas created then i can upload or i can simply go here and create one okay or oh, you haven't come across adarsh yeah even a uh, full screen even i haven't come across on fb but on book my show yes but this is the new concept this is the new thing which has been added canvas one it was not there earlier okay so people might not have explored this till now So guys now to create the ad i can simply click here browse library if uh, it's there on my in my library i can select from there free stock images guys if you remember they will scan the website or will suggest me the web uh, uh, based on the landing page they will suggest me these images let's say i entered the keyword which is training so they are showing me the images related to training only right and i if this is my image library they are showing showcasing these images from dm patshala website okay and if i have uploaded some images i can upload here i and create the library make sense guys so let's just select this for now and select one to six images let's see that i can separately customize for instagram also guys i can use different images for my instagram ad guys so guys can you see here this is what is being created the ad on mobile will look like this guys so now if i add the url here right headline digital marketing training online
So this is the text that they have suggested me. So guys, this is how it's gonna look like on mobile newsfeed. And if I want to see how it will look like on desktop newsfeed, I can see here. And if I want to see how it will be shown in feature phone, you can see like feature phone, it will be showcased like this with an instant articles sponsored. You can get to see like this desktop right column ads. This will showcase like this. And Instagram feed, audience network banner, network interstitial guys, same the complete banner like this. Feature phone is actually not exactly a smartphone, like you know. Mm, feature phone I can oh, let me just give you an example yes So yes, feature phone is actually not a smartphone. It's like a small phone like Nokia. But it does provide all the features. Yes. Clear guys. Okay, with physical keyboard. Okay, yes. So guys, if you want to add any button here, let's say I'll say book now, contact us. So the button will be added. Call to action button will be added here. So can you see book now? Option is coming here, book now. And now I will give this link here for book now. Description, display link I can give here, URL parameters I can give here. Tracking, offline tracking, I can set offline tracking also. But that that means like offline tracking, guys, means that whenever I'm offline, okay, still uh, I can see the reports. Okay, and then I'll say place order place order means guys i'm going to buy this now i have to make payment for this right so now here you can see the payment either paytm net banking or you can use your credit card or debit card to make payment okay and guys, Instagram ads are also created from Facebook only, guys. Right. So guys, this is how you can create ad on Facebook platform. Will you now be able to create ad on Facebook? It's quite simple, easy, self-explanatory guys. Yes, great.
so guys this was about facebook and now i'm going to move move on linkedin anyone of you on linkedin guys yes so guys for linkedin marketing here a uh, linkedin marketing you can do for guys b2b right b2b which is business to business okay that means if one company wants to do any promotion then linkedin is the best platform that really depends on which business they are into let's say software companies if software company wants to do any campaign that case facebook is not a platform for them because that's for consumers for software companies linkedin is the best platform where they get to meet professionals there and all the big companies right software related companies which they want to target so guys this is b2b platform if your business for consumers products then definitely you can select facebook and if your company is for b2b so let's say if i am into digital marketing services then guys for digital marketing services for me the platform is linkedin not facebook okay to some extent facebook in the sense if i want to target small and mid sized people like there are many small individuals who are running some businesses from their home right let's say some handicraft work they are doing from home and but and they have some small website which they want to promote okay individuals in that case facebook will really help but for large business sizes that case linkedin is the best platform so guys here also you can create a company page which is free of cost and then you can also do a paid advertisement you can run a paid campaign here okay So guys here can you see I'm on LinkedIn right now and when I click here on work can you see the options that I can get here I can create a group look up value yes and advertise option So I'll simply click on advertise So guys here you can see company pages right If you don't have an existing company page you can come here and click on company pages tab and then click on create a company page on LinkedIn You can create a company page here on LinkedIn company name guys let's say a b c private limited for example and this is the linkedin company url so if anyone if you want to share the company url page with anyone in the business simply you just copy and paste this link and share it across and if you want to show people the profile of your company you will simply share this company page because this page will include all the information about your company and i verify that i am the official representative of this company and create a page so let's just get started so now guys here you can simply upload the logo of your company right and this will get auto updated once you start filling the details type in here the company description 
we are into providing digital marketing services to small and mid sized companies all over all across the world the globe okay then uh, you add a speciality like a uh, ppc ad campaign right and seo which is search engine optimization i can add more like social media marketing right even youtube marketing so there are many you can add guys simple address of your page so i can add my address here select country i can select country which is india for example state delhi right website url guys i can tell the size of the employees let's say 11 to 50 as of now industry i can select from here computer internet basically internet marketing so i'll select internet only year founded in let's say 2000 2007 company type you can select whether it's a public company educational institution self employed government agency non profit i'll say privately held private company and i can look for the group search for groups which match this make sense guys clear so now i believe everyone can create some page for your company yes so once you are done guys simply click on the publish button here publish so it's saved right so guys once we start receiving the information right like updates then we can have we can see the analytics right now we will not be able to see anything the audience any ads that we are running the and impressions we are getting clicks interactions so guys now i hope you guys well understand all these terminologies right so you can read the analytics clear guys any doubt till here guys great so then guys i will go up and to this home so guys this page is created now again i will click here and go into advertise so right guys if uh, i already created uh, the ads right so at the simple you can manage ads who has left now password good
So guys, as you can see here, I can see two accounts on which here I can see. So I want to run from this. Right. And other says no, no for what? No doubt. Okay, probably. So it has taken me to here. I'll click here, no campaign. I'll create one, uh, there is one text art that I can see. This is the existing data, but uh, I'm not actually looking for existing data. I'll simply go here and create a campaign. And now guys, again, you will set your goal, like the objective through what you want to achieve through this. I want to reach LinkedIn members right in the LinkedIn feed and beyond. I want to drive targeted leads across multiple LinkedIn pages. So guys, one is the, I want to reach LinkedIn members right in the LinkedIn feed and beyond. So that, that means I want to reach to the LinkedIn members, right? And I want to drive targeted uh, leads across multiple LinkedIn pages. I want to target there are uh, like number of LinkedIn pages which are available, but I want to generate leads from them, right? And I want to send targeted messages directly to the people who matter most to my business. I can send personal messages also. I want to send targeted messages. So I can send messages to those people who are most related to my business guys. So I can simply go here and let's say drive targeted leads for my business. You can select either of those depending upon your requirement. And then guys enter a campaign name, LinkedIn campaign for digital marketing services okay choose language now next we receive some messages directly to our linkedin inbox are those the same as text ads adarsh i hope you got the answer i've just seen your question the option that was there to send messages directly to those people who are directly related to my contacts to my business basically. So people select that and you will receive personal messages on your LinkedIn. Make sense Adarsh, correct? Yes. So where should members go when they click your ad? The landing page here. So I want people to come on my website, not on LinkedIn page guys, because I want to promote my website basically. So I select my website here. And then guys add a catchy headline and image. I'm preparing the ad copy guys here. Promote your business, guys. Right, and you can also ask the system to show me ad to write a great ad content. 
this is the square one guys i can select the tall one i can select the horizontal one i can select the long one okay square one clear guys it's as easy as this and now to add image guys i'll click here and upload the image from my system simple okay and that will be showcased here okay and then i'll say save so you can see a valid url contains a protocol domain name and you need So you have to add the HTTP colon. So add is saved guys now. This is one ad I have created. So it is in review once it is approved. Okay. Now guys, I'll select my audience here to whom I want to target. So if I have a previous template, I'll select that. But right now I don't have any, I'll create one. I'll select the location guys. So guys here, you can just select the city, okay? Not beyond that. Okay, as in Facebook or Google, Ad, Google AdWords, you can target the particular areas also right here like the till city only guys you can target then select specific targeting criteria to zero in our in your ideal audience so if i want to target company industry so let's say i'll select industry the type of industry because i'm into digital marketing list marketing uh, services so industry will not matter to me because anyone or everyone needs a presence on digital marketing platform so industry specific is not my kind I anyone can approach me for digital marketing services I can select the company size job title year of experience member school these are the uh, categories which are available you to you to select from okay but right now I'll just select the industry type here let's say travel for example now okay and then next now guys again here bid you can do cost per click and cost per impression here you have an option to do cost per thousand impressions guys cost is per thousand impressions so if you guys remember it's cpc and cpm both available here cpc is the best this is what is suggested bid to reach the majority of your audience based on the landing page they have suggested us this bid okay and also this budget based because i have given 500 minimum budget daily okay so you can see here the suggested daily budget which is 20 percent higher than the budget that i have given can you see because the landing page or uh, the kind of campaign i'm running for the product that i'm promoting that bit is high for that makes sense guys and you can schedule here i want to start immediately i'll start immediately and then say next So guys, now it might have become very easy. Yes, it is the end. And now you just give the billing details. LinkedIn is not that much, you know, uh, in detail. It's very to the point, very specific. Because here you're just targeting companies. Right? Clear, guys? Ritesh, Adarsh, Pradeep, who else is there, Vinu?
so guys this was about facebook and linkedin marketing how you can create ad on linkedin and facebook that it's quite easy and simple guys i believe now you guys can create ad on facebook and linkedin on both the platforms right guys why it's uh, seeming you like very simple because google adwords was very difficult right all the terminologies you have covered there only so that's the reason it's uh, seeming you quite easy one but if you were not aware of these terminologies then definitely it's gonna take time to make you understand right uh, it is a bit difficult a uh, bit costly yes you are right we know it is a bit costly linkedin marketing linkedin campaign because you are running from for business to business and that's always expensive make sense guys agash ritesh vinu pradeep pradeep are you still there I can see you. You're there online. Can you please introduce yourself? What you are into? That really depends. We know from business to business. As this has suggested, one twenty for my line of business. And when you enter the line of business, definitely LinkedIn will suggest you. If your keyword is not that competitive, then uh, might not the bid will might not be that high. It depends from business to business. Okay, so it's very difficult to comment what's the minimum price per day. It's not price per day; it's price per click. Okay, it's not price per day; price per click. Things will get clear to you when you do Google AdWords. Might not be clear right now. But when you cover Google AdWords, then all these things will get clear. Okay, guys, any doubt, any queries you have today? Yes, I'll do that, Adarsh. I have already emailed you guys across, and there you will find all the links of my video recordings. Yeah, in that link only you will find all the recordings. It gets auto uploaded, guys. Okay, if you want. Okay, okay, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll share it across. Okay, I understood. I understood. Got your point. Pradeep, are you good? Like I'm not hearing anything from you. Guys, are we good to wind up for today? Okay, guys, great. I want you to practice. Do practice on Google AdWords also, and now do practice on Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay, and in the next class, we are going to do Twitter and Pinterest, guys. Twitter and Pinterest. Okay, guys, catch you on. Monday now, right? With the same link, yeah. Monday with the same link, same time, guys. Bye for now, guys. Have a good night and take care of yourself till the time we meet next. Bye for now, guys.